How's it going, everybody? A little more energy. All right. Uh, my name is Alex Agal. I'm the Associate Director of Products at PitchBook Data, and today I want to talk a little bit about searching for industries. Uh, first, we'll talk a little bit about what is PitchBook, what do we do. Um, we call ourselves a market research tool. So uh, a lot of our customers are going to be finance professionals focused in the private market, and they're going to be trying to figure out how do they value an investment. They're going to figure out how is a market trending, maybe looking for that next opportunity. So we can zoom in on a common example. It's like, is fintech a smart investment? Um, do we actually want to be doing that? Is that a growing market? So today what people do is they probably get and they read the news, they read GeekWire, they're going to be reading other publications looking for who's a hot fintech company. They're going to be talking to other investors, they're going to be Google searching, and they're kind of deciding each one, is that fintech, is it not? Does it matter, does it not? And then they probably put it in an Excel sheet that lives on their desktop because no one uses a correct filing system anywhere. Um, Six months later, that list is going to be stale. Uh, there's all new companies getting funded all the time. There's new financings happening. And so when your boss asks you, hey, can I get an update of that six months later, that's what you look like because you're pretty upset that you have this stale list. So what does PitchBook do is we have gathered all those sources and we built some technology where we can take human researchers that can gather this and they're supercharged with web crawlers and a little bit of data science that can make them a hundred times more efficient than a regular human can be and they can be much more accurate than any machine can be. So it's a kind of that man plus machine um, to borrow a little bit from the MTurk presentation there to say that we think that's the right combination. On so top is your entire business based on using Mechanical Turk? No, okay. but we... Uh, <laughs> What, yeah, we're actually MTurk in disguise, but no, we do use them a little bit uh, in the past at least. Um, so yeah, we have search and analysis tools that we build on top of all that data, and that's what I want to focus on today and actually focus in on a specific problem. So one of our customers might say, show me all box subscription companies. That's like a pretty common thing. They want to see what this industry is. So they probably have things in mind, Birchbox, BarkBox, Trunk Club. But in PitchBook, that's not a defined industry. There's no button you can hit that's like, oh, box subscription companies. It's too, it's too niche, right? So how do we let them search for this is kind of the problem. They just start to think of words that make up those companies, okay, delivery, box, subscription, monthly, probably goods, make up, all that stuff. And they mash it together into a query, they throw it into PitchBook, and they're going to get some result. 71 companies, not bad. But how do you know that that's the right list, and what if you miss something? In this case, natural box is one that we missed. So in this case, we hit on monthly subscription and box. Those were all words in the description of the company. They were also in the query. But we screwed up because we had this and on deliver. And as a user, that's super frustrating because you have to keep tweaking the stupid query to not be too restrictive or too broad to get the list that you actually want for the, for the industry. We also had makeup in there. And beauty is really close to that. And we missed that too. And that also sucks because I didn't think to put that in. So how do we solve for that? The answer is very cool new tech. And that's why we're here. So let's forget our query for a minute, just throw it out the window, and say, how can we decide if natural box is close to this 71 company list? Well, we can throw away words that don't matter. So of, and, uh, the, provider, we don't care. They're regular words that every company is going to use to describe themselves. You get the unique words out, like natural, organic, month, all of those, and we're going to do some cool data science, and we're going to throw that into something called a word vector. And basically, it's turning words into a numerical representation. We can do that for every company. So take Birchbox, which we know we like is in our industry, and we can put that in a vector, and now we can measure the distance between these two companies. So what's cool is now we know that Natural Box is actually pretty close to Birchbox. Awesome, we know it one off, but we don't know it for the whole list. What do we do? We take our 71 company list, and we take all of those descriptions, we mash them together and treat it as one big mega company. We do the same thing, we boil it down to its unique words, and we measure the distance again. And we can do that for every single company in PitchBook and understand how closely related is each company to the list that we've just surfaced, regardless of how many keywords you did or didn't put in there. We're just telling you how similar is this company to the list. Again, we can do a bunch of data science magic and do this at scale, and we can put suggestions right up there above your result and say, hey, here's some suggested companies. So for us, what's next here? Well, we could say that there's 100 suggested companies. We could say 500. We can cut that a bunch of different ways. We can say that the companies with the most financing are probably interesting to you. We can say the ones with the most interesting founding teams are the most interesting to you, the ones that have been around the longest, the ones in the hottest industries. Uh, we can say all of these things. And for PitchBook, we're just really trying to figure out how can we get the most relevant suggestion, that right recommendation to the user to complete their list. So if you want to work on this, we're hiring. If you don't want to work on this, you can give me your ideas for free, uh, and I'll buy you a coffee or a beer. <laughs> so with that, questions, yes, in the back. 
Yeah, that's a super hard problem. Um, usually you have to try to decide by some kind of usage pattern and try to wait on that. So for instance, if somebody tends to click more on a company that has some factor, like they're in a growing industry, then for that user you try to recommend in growing industries. But you know, the fact of the matter is you miss like half of the time, and that's why the problem's so hard. If you talk to a lot of, uh, yeah, interesting, the, like the why interesting founders. So if you talk to a lot of early stage VCs, they don't have anything to judge the company on. There's no revenue, there's no publicly available financials on all that. So when they're trying to decide if it's a good investment, they look at the pedigree of the founders, meaning have they been in successful startups before? Did they come from places where other successful founders come from? Because in the lack of any other information, which in private markets typically the problem, you have to use the next best proxy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the whole problem. You should come work at Pitchbook and figure it out with me. <laughs> One more question. Yes, right here. How do we get the initial list of companies? Um, it, it's a keyword Boolean query. So basically, we we gather descriptions for all of our companies either using the web crawlers or using. Um, uh, are human researchers, and so then we'll have a description, and then we'll go on from there and just match on the keywords. Shh. Do I get one okay. more? Okay, yeah, I go for one more question. Uh, yeah, I mean, depending how you use machine learning, but like, so most of the uh, company information that comes through news, for example, we'll use different models to extract descript descriptive snippets of text and put them in front of a researcher, and the researcher might craft a description based off that. So again, it's like the man plus machine, nothing's really exclusively like ML or whatever, or just a person, it's, it's both. Cool, thank you.